Hey guys, what's up? Scottish Duck here once again. Do you like my uh, Tales of Graces F custom uh, desktop wallpaper thingy here on my PS3? Lovely, isn't it? Anyway, what are we playing today? Sonic Unleashed! Sonic Unleashed! Yay! Yay. Um, right. Right off the bat, guys, okay? I really don't want this Let's Play to turn into one of these, like, you know, absolutely minging... Basically one of these huge Sonic rants, you know? I'm sure many of you are aware, who aren't are non Sonic fans and non-Sonic fans alike, you know, most of them just like tech, you know, when they're talking about Sonic games, you know, and Sonic Unleashed is quite popular here, they'll go into absolute fucking mega detail in regards to points about the game that everyone else doesn't give a shit about. I've noticed this so much over the years and I've caught myself doing it and I'm like, bad do bad Donald, bad Donald, slap myself on the wrist, you know, and it's like, I really don't want to do that in this Let's Play. So, hopefully we can avoid such a mindless par. Right, we don't want to load up. I don't think we have any choice to load up, actually. I'll just have to start a new game. But yeah. What I will say though is, you see, you see me in Sonic Unleashed, right? I have such a weird, weird, weird relationship with it. I'm gonna have to save over all my stuff, but I don't care. Um, it's like, okay, imagine a straight line, guys, okay? All the way over in the left is the good Sonic games, and all the way over to the right is the bad Sonic games. All the way to the left, you've got Sonic 3 Knuckles. All the way to the right, you've got Sonic 06. For me, Sonic Unleashed is literally right in the middle. I can't call it a good game and I can't call it a bad game at the same time. And I have this sort of weird, you know, love and hate relationship with it and it's just so... And Eggman is just sitting there laughing because he already got my money. Okay. I do love this opening here though, you know, it feels very, um, Death Eggy, you know, sort of retro Sonic y. I quite like it. Sonic's there doing his thing, breathing in space and everything. And he just totally did that swirl kick from Sonic 06, which was completely fucking useless. Actually, maybe that was intentional. You little. Oh god, say what you will, Sega always does an amazing job with the CG in their games. Looks really, really nice. I already collected them all. Now he's ready to kick ours. He's ready to leg it. And that just reminded me of Super Mario Galaxy there. Actually. It looks a lot like Super Mario Galaxy now that I think about it. Hmm. Didn't he just create like a vacuum in space or something? A robotic should be just being sucked in the new. Showing remorse, Eggman? Oh, I'm, I'm getting an echo, that's because I've left my speakers on. Also, Sonic deserves this. Right here, he deserves it. He's held together by the very rings he holds dear. And Robotnik will never use this machine again, apparently, even though it's worked so well. Ha 
Dreamcast. There was a Dreamcast there. Did anybody see it? It's extremely easy to miss, mind you, but it's there. is split apart and it's got some purple stuff in it the whole time. I can't think of a good metaphor. Maybe a black currant donut or something? Maybe one of those triple chocolate muffins you get with your Greggs. Anybody had those? Those are amazing! The gloves are off... and shit. And now I don't like the game that much. <laughs> success! A brilliant success! It's just as the Gaia manuscript foretold! You know what that line reminds me of? And this is going to be one of those weird things that no one else is going to pick on except those diehard Sonic fans, but... It's like when Robotnik in Sonic Adventure 1 said... It's just as the stone tablets predicted when he was talking about chaos. This game actually borrows a lot from... Now that I think about it, it takes some cues off of Sonic Adventure 1's story. That and the fact that Dark Gaia is a total, like, um, perfect chaos ripoff. Sonic Unleashed. That thing's a lot bigger. No, wait, he's dissipating. Never mind. Dissipating. Am I saying that right? He is spreading his miasma about the place. Actually, that's it. That's exactly like Tales of the Abyss, with the world breaking apart and shit. Holy fuck! Let's see how many comparisons we can uh, make with other games here. Right. I guess I'll say this as well. This is the PS3 version of the game. But, honestly, the um, 360 version looked a lot better. I've played both of them. You know, I traded in the 360 version, got the PS3 version when it kind of became my main console, and I don't know what it is about it, but, yeah, 360 version was a lot better looking. What the heck is going on? And there he is. I think actually, you know, I know that Sonic Colors, and I don't mind talking over this cutscene by the way, I know Sonic Colors like introduced a lot of stuff that would that sort of put Sonic back on track, so to speak. You know, because they were also in Sonic Generations, but I think Sonic Unleashed was like the place where Sonic quote unquote rebooted. Uh, even though Black Knight came out after it, which was terrible. Because you know how I said that it's like smack dub in the middle for me? I can't really tell if it's good or bad. Well, Sonic Colors really did take out everything bad and just left in the good as far as I'm concerned. Who you are? 
Yup. I remember something falling from the sky. <clears throat> and everything just going all white. And the dog's barking. She's and been doing a lot of that today. I can't remember a thing past that. Uh oh. Did I fall on him? Oh man, what am I going to do? What can I do? Where do I go from here? What'll I... Uh, I'm hungry. Hey, don't worry. I'll help you get your memory back. I mean, the planet's broken and I'm a fucking furry right now, but, you know, sort of. I'll help you. Oh, thank you. You're the best, Mr. Monster Guy. I mean, Sonic the Hedgehog. Sun comes up and... Yeah, the shadows really look a lot more blocky in this game than they did in the 360, I thought. Because, I mean, the Hedgehog engine is awesome. I think it's a brilliant thing. Uh, just did a lot better on the generations, I think. Right. Now, about these daytime levels. Now, I agree with everyone else in saying that they were the only really good thing about this game, and um, that still holds true, but when you play Sonic Colors and, more specifically, Generations for a long time, they really don't hold up that well. Um, you know, specifically with the controls and all that, they just don't feel quite as right. Like, um... Oh my god, the dog has gone crazy! Shut the fuck up! See, this is the dog actually telling me, don't get into this, Donald. You don't want to anger a bunch of rabid Sonic fans and start something in the comments, but I can't help it. Right. One of the first differences is the fact that the homing attack is on the sodding square button. I don't know why they did that. I'm glad they fixed it in later games, so yeah. Um, the other one, though, and one that I am seriously, I seriously can't help but notice now, is how slippery Sonic handles now. I mean, try doing, try doing this, what I'm doing right here, okay? Like, making little S things. Imagine there's a rail, trail of cones, okay? Sonic's going in and out between them and that. Imagine doing this in Sonic Unleashed. Now go play Generations and try it. It's a lot easier. The slow movement controls in Generations are just, like, vastly superior. Um, that's really the only other problems I have. I mean, the other glaring issue, and one that doesn't bug me that much, is the fact that uh, there's not as much platforming in Sonic Unleashed as there is just, um, you know, going really fast. Boost to win, if you will. I, uh, I don't really agree with that that much. It is very boost heavy, don't get me wrong, but I don't really think that makes it a bad game, okay? The daytime stages have a lot more problems than just being a bit boost heavy, okay? Okay. <laughs> 